welcome to the first Exmo Strata newscast. We'll bring you news and analysis from the sign industry every quarter, but you can see more details of the stories we'll cover on the Exmo Strata website. In January, UK media reported a man died when a sign allegedly fell from a North London betting shop. Managing director Steve Martin cautioned against jumping to conclusions about the cause, but said it was a reminder that erecting signs carries considerable responsibility. He said his thoughts were with the family, but that the incident underlined the fact that quality installation and timely repairs were sometimes a matter of life and death. Mr Martin also commented on the recent case of a police officer criticised by her chief constable for suing a petrol station owner. PC Kelly Jones says she was injured when she stumbled over a curb at a Norfolk filling station in August, but Norfolk Chief Constable Phil Gormley said he didn't support the claim and most police staff accepted the risks inherent in policing. The controversy might help in limiting claims, said Mr Martin, but it also highlights the legal risks all of us in the industry run. Exmostrata encourages teams to report and address hazards to help protect owners from litigation. Exmostrata has received its annual verification under the Donorsta Veritas International Contractor Safety Rating System after auditors reported standards have been maintained and even enhanced. Quality and Systems Manager Michael Mott said certified systems represent an external assessment on health and safety. A crew attending a damaged sprawl court canopy persuaded the manager to close the site despite the loss of revenue. Only two of multiple lanes had been closed after a vehicle impact, but the damaged section was blown backwards and forwards in 16 mile an hour winds and roof sheets were bending. The crew persuaded the manager that employees and the public were at risk and safety must come first. The site was reopened once it was made safe. Well, that was one of many wind-related incidents, but sometimes the wind just exposes problems which have lain hidden for years. MID signs in particular should be rock solid. Movement indicates potentially fatal hazards. One site manager told the crew his MID sign moved visibly in the wind. The crew were due to replace it with a larger one after another contractor had declared the base suitable. Crew member Steve Knight said the problem was that the base had been constructed incorrectly in the first place and it was inadequate for the original smaller sign, let alone the new 7 metre sign. Executives say faulty bases are common and customers are grateful when problems are pointed out. A report shared by Artelia UK acts as a reminder that testing equipment itself needs testing and even then problems may still arise. An electrical technician about to use a Martindale voltage indicating device tested it first with a Martindale proving device, finding no problem at all. But concerns arose when the voltage indicator falsely suggested a known live circuit was safe to work on a problem and was finally tracked down to a missing fuse on the proving device. The commercial manager Mick Feasy praised the professionalism of all those involved who applied the principles of lockout, tagout and prevented an accident. An eight-point plan was instigated to identify the scale of the problem and prevent future accidents. Exmo Strata recently issued new probe testers and proving units to crews and conducted training on a specially constructed device. One element of health and safety is worst case planning and Exmo Strata has advanced plans in place to ensure business continuity in the event of disaster. The company's business critical Exmo Man project management system is backed up off-site every day for example and if the office burnt down or was otherwise unusable, the company could be up and running within 48 hours in a new office with workstations, computers and phone systems live and with access to meeting rooms. Travel disruption, perhaps due to fuel shortages, blockades, sporting or cultural events or weather, risks to health and the environment and the risks of violence are all covered in in the plan. The insurance industry now rates the company as a category A risk, the lowest on its scale. The result? Lower insurance premiums, which helps the company retain its competitiveness. And finally, we hope you've enjoyed this newscast. You can get more information on these and other stories on our website. Join us next time for more news from both the company and the industry. Goodbye and take care.